The term die shrink refers to a simple semiconductor scaling of semiconductor devices, mainly transistors. The act of shrinking a die is to create a somewhat identical circuitry using a more advanced fabrication process, usually involving an advance of lithographic node. This reduces overall costs of a chip company, as the absence of major architectural changes to the processor lowers research and development costs, while at the same time allowing more processor dies to be manufactured on the same piece of silicon wafer, resulting in less cost per product sold. Details Die shrinks are the key to improving price performance at semiconductor companies such as Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, and Samsung. Examples in the 2000s include the codenamed Cedar Mill Pentium 4 processors and Penrin Core 2 processors, the codenamed Brisbane Athlon 64X2 processors, and various generations of GPUs from both ATI and NVIDIA. In January 2010, Intel released Clark Dale Core i5 and Core i7 processors fabricated with a 32 nanometers process, down from a previous 45 nanometers process used in older iterations of the Nehalem processor microarchitecture. Die shrinks are beneficial to end users as shrinking a die reduces the current used by each transistor switching on or off in semiconductor devices while maintaining the same clock frequency of a chip, making a product with less power consumption increased clock rate headroom, and lower prices. Since the cost to fabricate a 12 inches or 16 silicon wafer is proportional to the number of fabrication steps, and not proportional to the number of chips on the wafer, die shrinks cram more chips onto each wafer, resulting in lowered manufacturing costs per chip. Half shrink, in CPU fabrications, a die shrink always involves an advance to a lithographic node as defined by ITRS. For GPU and SoC manufacturing, the die shrink often involves shrinking the die on a node not defined by the ITRS, for instance the 150 nanometers, 110 nanometers, 80 nanometers, 55 nanometers, 40 nanometers and more currently 28 nanometers nodes, sometimes referred to as half node. This is a stopgap between two ITRS defined lithographic nodes before further shrink to the lower ITRS defined nodes occurs which helps save further R&D cost. The choice to perform die shrinks to either full nodes or half nodes rests with the foundry and not the integrated circuit designer. See also Integrated circuit, semiconductor device fabrication, photolithography. External links, 0.11 a micrometer standard cell ASIC, at times, ON Semi offers 110 nanometer ASIC platform, Renesa's 55 nanometers process features, RDA, SMIC make 55 nanometer mixed signal IC, Global Foundries 40 nanometers, UMC 45 40 nanometers, Silicon Blue Tips FPGA move to 40 nanometer, Global Foundries 28 nanometers, Leading Edge Technologies, TSMC reiterates 28 nanometers readiness by Q4 2011, design starts triple for TSMC at 28 nanometer.